Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode on this channel, Bird Spider CH. Today we have a little special episode because there is something spontaneous going on and uh, yeah, we will head to a friend's place where he has a friend of him visiting and this friend of him is actually working for a university in Australia and he's milking tarantulas, scorpions and other arachnids um, for their venom and they will bring it back to Australia and work on the venom to look for specific toxins and venom proteins so that they can hopefully use this stuff for pharmaceutical treatments. So there is not much talk from my side going on so I would like to show you the footage and therefore we will just head to the friend's place right now. Hi, I'm Dr. Volker Herzig and I work at the University of Queensland in Australia and today I'm going to show you how to milk a tarantula. I'll do this for about a minute or so. Okay, then I'll put a spider away. And yes, indeed, we got some venom here. So you can see um, a small drop of venom here on the top of the, of the tube. So today I'm going to tell you how to milk a tarantula. <coughs> That's not very complicated. So first of all, you obviously need a tarantula, which we got here. And I, <clears throat> I grab it like, like this, between the second and the third pair of legs. And basically this immobilizes the tarantula completely. And then um, I use a pair of, of forceps ju just to peel out the, the fangs a little bit. And then the fangs are inserted into this tube through a parafilm membrane. The parafilm prevents saliva from contaminating the venom, which is important because otherwise the saliva would digest the venom and it would become um, non-usable. And what I do next, I use my um, electrified forceps, which delivers between 12 and 15 volts. And then I, I stimulate each of the chelicera separately. And what the electricity does, it contracts the muscles that surround the venom gland and this contraction then squeezes out the venom straight into my, into my tube. So basically a very simple procedure and I use a little bit of water to increase the conductivity. And you can see like the legs are twitching now as well because the electricity also in induces like all of the bo body muscles to, to contract including the leg muscles. 
and I um, I alternate between each of the fangs. Sometimes I grab both fangs at a time and I do this for a minute or so. some venom <laughs> yeah that's just a very tiny bit almost nothing unfortunately i hope you enjoyed this video it is somewhat special i think most of you haven't seen someone milking a tarantula's venom um therefore i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below if you have any further questions regarding the tarantula milking process or anything i know it looked maybe quite disturbing sometimes um but actually all spiders are completely fine um, they don't have any issues with that and therefore no spiders were harmed in the process. So I wish you a nice week, weekend, whatever. So enjoy your evening and see you guys next week.